This is a lesson on how to play hot cross buns on the alto sax. We're going to be learning this song by ear, which means we're not going to be using any written down sheet music. So whenever we learn a song by ear, it's really important that we have the song in our head. So we sing the song to make sure we really know how it goes. I played the song for you at the beginning of this lesson, but now let's take a quick minute to sing the song. And while I sing it, I'll show you the fingers that we're going to be using when we play the song. Here we go. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. To play this song on our saxophone, we're going to use three notes. The first note is B. We play a B by pressing down our first finger on our left hand. That's the first home key on the top of the saxophone. Next, we will need the note A. To make the note A, we're going to add our second finger on the second home key of the saxophone. And finally, we're going to need the note G. For G, we simply add one more finger. So now we have our first three home keys on the left hand of the saxophone are pressed down. And that makes the note G. Whenever we're learning a song by ear, it's really helpful to think of the solfege scale. That's do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. The three notes that we're going to be using in this song, B, A, G, make the sound of mi, re, do. Now let's get started with the first phrase of the song. Hot cross buns. If we listen to the notes of that phrase, do, 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 we can hear that it matches the sound of mi, re, do on the solfege scale. So we're going to play that pattern using B, A, G on our saxophone. And you can hear that at the beginning of every note that I play, I'm using my tongue to tap the reed right here on the end, and that's making that little t sound at the beginning of each note. Two, two, two. The second phrase of the song is hot cross buns. And we can hear that that's the same exact phrase that we just played a second ago. So let's play it again with our B, A, G. Now the third phrase of the song one a penny, two a penny. We can hear that that's different. So let's start with that first part. One a penny. If we listen to that note that we're starting on, we can hear that it's the do of our three notes. That's the bottom note, the G note. So let's start on G and let's match the rhythm of the pattern. One a penny. Again, we have to use our tongue to tap the reed four times. And that separates our sound into four notes. Make sure you're not blowing four separate puffs of air like this. We want one smooth stream of air and the tongue just chops it into four pieces. So we got the first part of this phrase, one a penny. Now what happens next? Let's sing it. One a penny, two a penny. Did you hear the note change? The note went up one note. We started on do and we moved up to re. So our pattern is going to be g, 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 a, 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 a. <laughs> Now the final phrase in the song might sound familiar. Hot cross buns. We've already played that twice. Remember, it's B, A, G. Now let's review the whole song together and I want you to sing the song with me and move your fingers like me on your saxophone. Ready? Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross 
buns. Now I'm going to play the whole song for you, and you can try to play along with me at home. Here we go. And that is how you play hot cross buns on the alto sax. Remember, you can go to our website, gobando.com, to download the play along track for this song. Please leave your comments and your questions below. I always love to hear from you. Now, as always, have fun and go practice.